The Prime Minister said that parents have a moral duty to send their kids to school when they open next week. We chatted to some parents about their thoughts on sending the kids back to school. We have a moral duty to send our kids to school. Meanwhile, teachers say there is insufficient guidance or funding to open schools safely. The government U-turned getting kids back in June. They fucked up the exam results in a way that it is jaw-dropping that Gavin Williamson still has a job. But hey, if being shit at your job was grounds for dismissal, Boris Johnson would have given himself the sack a long time ago. And now they U-turn on face masks in schools. Their entire education strategy is, let's just wing it, and when it goes tits up, we'll just see what Nicola Sturgeon is doing. Or, or blame everything on mutant algorithms, whatever the fuck they are. How are parents supposed to trust the government is right about this? How? How are we supposed to trust their advice on anything when they tell us it, it's fine for us all to fuck off on holiday and then with about 30 minutes notice go, no, 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 you've got to come back now. Sorry. How are we supposed to trust a government that, that says, go on, off you go, eat out to help out, have half price pizza on us. And then Boris turns around and tells us all to stop getting so fucking fat. I.e., if you like half price pizza and you get COVID, it's your fucking fault. How are we supposed to trust a government that at one point blamed COVID-19 on Chinese food standards and China's lack of transparency and in the same week voted to lower the UK's food standards and failed to publish a report on why UK corona deaths were so high? A government whose COVID strategy is one of whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole, when it pops up and you smash it down only for it to reappear somewhere else seconds later. That's how this government deals with a fucking global pandemic, whack-a-mole. And, and they're not wrong. It is whack-a-mole. Bang! Shit! GDP's dropped by 20%. Almost double that of any other European nation. Fuck! Bang! We, we forgot to buy face masks. Shit! How can we trust a government when their advice went from wash your hands to stay at home to check if you're going blind by driving to Barnard Castle? How can we trust their advice after they promised a world-beating test and trace system by June, admitted it didn't really work on June the 18th, and then abandoned the whole thing and just keeps quiet about the whole world-beating thing? Where we are world-beating is deaths per 100,000. There we are, top of the fucking world, above Peru, Chile, the US and Brazil. Germany has under 10,000 deaths. We're over 40,000 deaths. Deaths! How fucking dare they lecture us about moral duties? Moral duties! The Tories have been in power for well over a decade. Child poverty is up by 50%. Food bank use is up by 1,000%. Homelessness is up by 170%. Police numbers down by 20%. Crime up by 30%. And the NHS was on its knees and out for tender well before COVID hit. All these things are the government's moral responsibility. And yet Boris Johnson and his cabal of populist cockwombles are all profoundly out of their depth, lacking even the most basic administrative skills or indeed maturity to run a country, as demonstrated by the UK's shockingly high cases of death due to coronavirus, a moral duty. The day I start taking lessons in morality from the likes of Boris Johnson is the day I start taking the fucking smack. Well, the Prime Minister yesterday said the exam chaos students suffered earlier in the month was down to a mutant algorithm. We are some...